open up not in the woods not in the woods yeah <laughs> my brother's gonna get so annoyed that i'm recording hey guys it's shion kelly here and welcome back to night in the woods <laughs> I'm trying to be somewhat quiet because apparently my brother is sick and I need to not be that loud. So I'm recording this and hopefully it's going to be quiet-ish. Ish. But I've, it's also been a really long time so I've forgotten the controls. <laughs> okay. Uh, bedtime. Yes, it's bedtime. <laughs> night, night. Oh, May looks so snuggly. Also, apologies if I've forgotten some of the voices. Uh, again, it's been a while. <laughs> Why has it been a while? Because I've been working on a super top secret project for one of my friends. Ooh. So I really... May is really slow right now. Why? Also, I don't know where I'm going. So I'm guessing I'm just... Oh, okay, there's power lines. And there's a lamp. Okay, so we're just gonna walk around. I think. Okay, I can't run into the darkness. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Um, I love this aesthetic. This sort of neon light aesthetic. It's so pretty. Jump! Oh, okay, we're on power lines to the moon. Hi. <gasps> That's the constellation we saw. Okay, I feel like we should go the other way. That's cool, though. And the moon's really cool. And I'm just getting excited for no reason. Oh. No, I wanted to go up on the building. I feel like we're going to be here for a while. Alright. Mainly because May is walking really slowly and I don't really know why. Jump. Okay, I know I need to get up there, but I don't know how, so... I'm going to go this way instead. Smush. Oh, we need to find four of these? Okay. Sure. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. I meant to ask, actually. Is May... Oh, I have to go on the power lines, don't I? Oh, no, there was a way. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I meant to ask, actually, um, ooh, glowing lights, are these dream sequences real or are they just part of May's, like, fantasy? Oh, that's cool. Oh, darkness again, okay, uh, there's really not many places I can go. Power lines it is. Surely this way leads somewhere. I really love the colours though, they're cool. It also does not help. Oh, okay, I can go here. It also does not help that my friggin' room is so bright right now. So I cannot see a thing. Okay, hang on, give me a minute to close the <laughs> close the blinds. Okay, so that's four. Where's the last one? Hmm. I think I know where they are. The constellations are still really cool. And the colours are making me happy, so I really don't mind that this section is taking a little bit longer. Nope. <laughs> okay, my hardcore parkour skills are shit. <laughs> But yeah, it's been a while since I've played Night in the Woods. I've missed it so much. And you guys are probably going to be asking, why didn't you play it, numpty? 
Uh, um, I had a few other things I was working on. Yay! All four. <clears throat> now what? Um, I had some things that I was working on. I've been working on a new story. I've been working on an old story. I've been working on a few different things. And this is all writing-wise. Like, this isn't really for video format. Um, but a hint on my DeviantArt was that I was writing a new Miraculous story, which I am so excited for. I've already started, and it's only going to be a short story. It's not going to be, like, the consulting detective and the girl. Hi. Oh, hi. You're a nice-looking bear. <laughs> Not so nice looking. Okay, am I seeing God? Yeah, what? Wake up, May. Wake up. Jesus. That was spooky. Dum dee dum dee dum. Come on, up you get. It's like it never happened. Okay, no, I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna do that. Let's check the computer. Yay! Messages from Bibi. Bibi. Hey. I got sick from the mall food. Oh yeah, because we went to the mall. Oh <laughs> I forgot about that. It wasn't good mall food. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. Same. But I was doing some reading up on B and her backstory. And like this was just in my spare time. Um, mainly because I feel like we're not going to really do B's root. I think we're going to do Angus's because <laughs> everybody knows I love Angus. But... <laughs> Um, apparently B's mother died and then her father became like, okay, so this is spoilers for B's root. If you don't want to hear spoilers, then click to, uh, a little bit later. It'll be like off the computer screen. <laughs> um, but apparently, correct me if I'm wrong when I say this, but this is just what I read. B's mother died. We know that. But then her father became an alcoholic. So B was sort of the one to pick up the pieces and like start running the family business. She bought her own car and everything like that. Um, but then apparently she almost got raped at work and the guy that almost raped her still works there. Uh, and I don't know if that's true or not. I really don't, but because obviously I haven't played through her route, but when I read that, I literally burst into tears because I, I, <laughs> that is so beyond heartbreaking and it makes a lot of sense in regards to her character, to like why she's so cynical and like even if, take out the part that she might have been raped or might not have been raped, almost raped, sexually assaulted, whatever, like take that out, but holy shit, she was the one to pick up the pieces from her dad, who became an alcoholic. Like, holy shit, that is, <clears throat> that is a one woman army right there. And like, you can tell she hates working there. But, and I don't know if it's because of the sexual assault thing or anything, but holy hell, B is one tough character. Like, holy shit. And I was, like, I have realized now that I was discrediting her so much because she went through so much shit. Like, it breaks my heart because there are stories like that out there where people go through similar things. Like, I have a feeling that the characters in this game were based off probably very real stories. And the fact that that might have happened no the fact that that probably has happened to someone it breaks my heart so much and if that has ever happened to you I am so sorry I am genuinely so sorry and 
you are an inspiration for continuing on with your life. Like, holy hell. Like, no wonder B is, like, depressed and angry. Like, holy shit. Anyway, um, <clears throat> bet you didn't uh, expect a deep and meaningful rant about B. But again, that's just what I found. I figured since I probably wasn't going to do her route, I was going to uh, do a bit of research on her story. And, like, again, holy shit. Um, so yeah, I have definitely been discrediting B. She is an amazing character. Morning! I'm working today. Angus is out of town and I'm lonely. Okay, bye! Sincerely, Gregory. I feel like since we sort of gave Greg the slip last time, we've got to go and, uh, see him. <laughs> we will see Gregory! Even though it's gonna kill my voice to do. All right, Mayday, let's go. Let's see if Dad's cleared the boxes yet. The boxes! Still no. Oh, me schnoz. Another reason why I haven't really... God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are. Like luxury furniture now. Since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like, having something big that only does one thing is, like, a statement or something. Um, yeah, another bit, another reason why I wasn't really recording much um, was because <laughs> two weeks ago I actually got very sick with tonsillitis. And if any of you have ever had tonsillitis, you know how painful that is. Um, but then... At the same time, I also had an intense ear infection in both ears, meaning I could not hear or talk. So, my life was literally reading, so. Hey, Mom! Ma'am. Ma'am. Mammy. Mama Bear. <clears throat> How are you, Mom? Good morning. Did you feel it last night? What? <laughs> what? Did I feel what? It was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all. Mum, they're just holes in the ground. Getting back to me, get back to me when one like swallows a house or something. <laughs> May, that's besides the point. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. Hey. So what did you do last night? Went to the mall with B. Oh, for Lu Fort Lucien? Yeah. I haven't been there in years. How is it? Kind of falling apart and empty. Yeah, I expect. Everyone just goes up to the outlet stores up by the interstate now. For, you know, shoes and things. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Oh, that was a thing as well. Um, apparently if you don't stop by the church when she tells you to, like when, like now when she asks you to, apparently if you don't, you miss out on a major story item, number one, and number two, she gets really pissed off. So, I mean, she might get pissed off anyway, but we're going to go visit her by the church. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm, bye, sweetie. No, I want to talk to you more. I want to talk to you more. Mom. Now that you've been home for a few days. Yeah. Have you thought about getting a jet? Well, gotta go, Mom. <laughs> oof. Oof. Yikes. That hits too close to home. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I think we've exhausted her dialogue for the day. But yeah, apparently, if we don't go and talk to her... She can get really shitty at us, so we better go talk to her at the church. Oh my god, it's... It's wet! 
and rainy. I doubt we're going to be able to go see the stars today, but like, we may as well. Whee! I actually love wet and cold, rainy weather. Like, it gives you an excuse to stay inside. But it's it's just so cool. Pardon the pun. Whee! Yeah, I remember you. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, let me down. I want to go talk to Selma's. No! Yeah, he's he's not up there. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to go down. Oh, there's a friggin' Halloween pumpkin. I friggin' love Halloween so much. There's pumpkins everywhere. Oh, my God, this makes me so happy. <laughs> Oh, that's really cool. Selmas! Selmas, hi! Hi, hello. Mabarovsky. Selmas, now we all know how important it is to look our best. What? <laughs> our appearance is the first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmas, did you join a cult? <laughs> oh, no. Or possibly just got a job. Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. <laughs> oh, Selma's, I love you. Oh, okay. Of the Slippian family of products. Selma's, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you giving that bitch to everyone? It's horrible, isn't it? I did a video seminar and that's what the woman said. Did she sell anything? Yeah, her neighbor was really appreciative. Sorry. Everyone was smiling and they just kept laughing. Just smiling and laughing and looking at hand lotions. You can just smile and laugh if you want. Nah. Wanna hear a poem? Always. I always want to hear a poem from Selma's. Sometimes I think and start to sink. Oh no, there's more. Sorry. Then I remember, it's October. Oh wait, October. <laughs> you should have said November. <laughs> October. I combined my two favorite months. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Fall is really nice. It's the best. See, this is why I feel disadvantaged because I adore October and Halloween and everything like that. But here in Australia, that's the start of spring. It's not autumn or like the start of winter or anything like that. So it makes me really sad. I miss out on like all the fall leaves and like the pumpkin spiced stuff and everything like that, just because I'm in a different country. I'm just like, man, they're fair. Days are gonna start getting shorter soon. It makes me sad. I like it. I love the fall, but hate the dark. Same. I like it. You sure do. I seen a raccoon. Where? Up in the towny center, sentry, he's a big un. Cool. I still don't understand this world. They have like squirrels and cats running around. I don't get it. All right. <clears throat> Let's -a go and see the people. We're gonna see mom first. Is May running really slowly or is that just me? Might be my computer. Maybe. Maybe. My goal is to record two episodes. That Raccoon! My goal is to record two episodes today if I can. Let's see if mom teleported. I still maintain the fact that the trees look like jelly. Yeah. Ma'am. Because we really don't want mom to be pissed off with us. That'd suck. 
Mom, how did you teleport here? <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. The Old West was a very rude time. <laughs> Howdy, partner. I say, I say, this is powerful rude. <laughs> this is powerful rude. <laughs> That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing the place up. Tarnation. Okay, mom, no more cowboy talk for you. <laughs> Dad, come in. I <laughs> I gotta get back to work, sweetie. Love you. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> oh, what is happening? So I, th when did we? When are we meant to like go out with her? And oh, okay. I just randomly stopped. Ooh, new area. Cool. Where are we going? The sanctuary. Is that like where the altar is and everything like that? I claim sanctuary. Yeah, it is. Hi, Piazza K. What voice did I give you? Hey again. Hey. Your mom will be pretty happy you're here. Oh, don't I know it. <laughs> you're not a churchgoer? I was when I was a kid. Well, you had to go then. Yeah. I liked Sunday school. They gave you cookies and orange drink. <laughs> Is orange drink the only name for it? Huh. I don't know. I'm realizing I've also been calling it that my entire life. Orange drink. <laughs> the drink that is orange. When did you stop coming? When my mom stopped making me. When I was like 15 or so. Why? I don't know. All the sitting and standing. Seeing this now, feel this thing now. Well, the feelings are more suggestions. Doesn't feel like it. Well, I'll hope you'll maybe come some Sunday. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen you preach. Oh, wow. Preach. Kind of has a bad ring to it, huh? Talk? That works. <laughs> I like you, Pasta K. Hey, how are things with the whole Bruce situation? Well, we're praying and gears are turning, but they turn slow. But God can turn any gear they want. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh my God, that is such a neat little touch. I like that she calls God they and not him. Or her. That's such an interesting look. Because we don't... God doesn't have a gender, to my knowledge. And I'm just going by my own personal beliefs and religion and whatnot. Chill, Tumblr, chill. But in my mind, God doesn't really have a gender. Just an all-compassing being. Then I take comfort in that. I hope it turns out okay. Thank you, May. Hey, listen. You know... If you ever want to talk or have any questions about, like, God, sure, you can always talk to me. It's kind of my job. <laughs> it's, it's kind of in my job description. Okay. Cool. She's really nice. It's a really nice pastor. I remember when I was younger, actually, and I was just sort of starting to get into art, I did this painting for my church and it was of um I think it was of the crucifixion or something like that um but I remember I left a note and I just I just sort of left it in the church like for our pastor to find and he kept it he kept it and he took it with him when he left 
and he never he never realized it was me that gave it to him but he was always like <laughs> he was always very appreciative and i just sort of went no that's a nice pastor or priest that's a nice priest is there a difference probably i'm a bad christian hello oh okay so you're more of a drifter yeah yeah but it's temporary of course. Well, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor Kate has been very kind. Mind if we see your setup here? What do you think? What do you think, Molly? Uh. Uh. It's fine. Ha! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bruce. Yeah. Oh, you're fine in Possum Springs. Nice. Oh god, my voice is going. Nice place, nice people. How long you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now. I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking at miners, at least for a while. Got a whole thing going here, Bruce. Yup. Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. <laughs> well, we appreciate you talking to us, Bruce. It was really great to meet you. Yep, likewise. Alright, troops, let's move out. <laughs> Fucking what? Thanks again, Bruce. What just happened? Thanks, Bruce. No tr No trouble. Oh god, I can't do Bruce's voice. What were they doing up here? Just sort of looking at his place and being like, yep, this is fine. This is, this is very fine indeed. Sure. What did they want? So, what's your story? Uh, got no story. Like, where are you from? North of here. Northeast. I cannot... Do that voice. I swear to God. Worked on the railroads. Worked some mines. Worked some construction. How'd you end up here? String of bad luck. You don't have to talk about it. I never turned down that offer. Respect. Poor thing. Well, at least you're not going to get rained on. Power up. I'm a jump off the cliff, ma'am. Look. Oh, the little graffiti writing. Cass and Eeg? Huh. Well. Let's -a go. Let's go, Mayday! Wow! Wow! It seems a lot colder up in this area than it does, like, in the city. Run! Pastor K.W. Young. All are welcome. Bingo. <laughs> Transom. With a four in it. That's the cemetery over there. On your right. And on your left is the big daunting church. Whee! Okay. So apparently Angus is away today, which is very sad. Do, 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 do. I think, and I don't remember if this is right... Me. I don't remember if this is right, but I feel like oh wait a minute, we wanted to go down into the into the into the sewer -y place, didn't we? Get down. See, get in the window. God damn it! And pigeons. All right, fine. We're going in here because we got told by that old woman how she knew our granddad, right? 
Aw, oh, that guy isn't doing poetry here anymore. Aw. Pierogi. Wee, are you there? I'm not. Oh, how dare you. There's so much flavor text in this game, and I absolutely love it. Oh, hi. Rainy day, huh? But not down here. You kids have your own little secret hideout down here, huh? Pfft. Whatever. When I was a kid, literally nobody cares. Well, whatever. Okay then. Yikes. You little shits are judgmental. Alright, let's go. Let's go talk to people who really appreciate me. I'm gonna check just in case. I am always going to check for Angus. Oh, he really is not here. Aw. I'm talking about heartbreaking music. Respect. Respect, respect indeed. Oh my god, that slush is cold! Okay, did we pass B? Okay, so we've done... God, it's really... <laughs> Party bound. Party bound for sale. I'm noticing a lot of places like in Possum Springs are for sale. The old pickaxe. Okay. We're going to go see Greg today because we've seen B and done one of her events. And we've seen, I think we saw Greg at one point as well and did one of his events. I think. So, we're going with Greg, B, Greg, and then B again, Cat. Oofed. Okay. Let's go to the Schmack Falcon. Oh, this is going to kill my voice. Okay. <laughs> Sir, dude. Hey, hey, May May. Totally, what's up, dude? <laughs> thinking about going to jail. What? <laughs> like you're planning on going to jail? I think I could break out. Maybe I should like test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? I had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin Jen said it was inevitable. Oh man, you're not in it. You're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, no, go back. I'm definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. <laughs> Sweetie, no. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. Oh no. Apparently Angus doesn't like his family. Oh. They're not worth talking about. Yike. Okay. Yeesh. Wanna hang out? Got a lot to do today. Yeah, man, let's roll. Damn straight. <laughs> You're not straight at all, Greg. <clears throat> Mechanics. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? The bullet went clean through. You can still see the bullet hole in it. What is happening? How did that not kill him? He must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that the helmet the fascists were wearing? Oh no, wrong war. And wrong country. 
He's one of the bad guys. You sure about that, Craig? Read some history. No. <laughs> Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So what are we doing? You up for a crime? Boy, am I ever... Oh, no. I don't want to do a crime. Damn it, Greg. I mean, I kind of did some last night. Oh, really? Without me? Oh, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. That's my... That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. <laughs> oh, God. So what's the plan? Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. <laughs> oh, God. Huh. Rain show cleared up. Weather moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? You really gotta ask that? Ta-da! Ooh la la! F that car up, Private Borowski! So... You brought me out here to watch me beat up a car. Is this like a thing where people wa are all hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. Look it up. Eh. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info, private. Stop calling me private. I'm a general at least. I ain't in your army. <laughs> I'm a general at the very least. Fuck you. No, I'm the general. I got a hat. War is stupid. Watch it. War got me this hat. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree grow. <laughs> oh god, I didn't realize the tree was growing through it. So we're just beating it until the hood pops open? I'm guessing. Why aren't you helping? I'm carrying the battery all the way back. Division of labor. You get the fun part anyways. True. Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. <laughs> Greg. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yeah. Your time has come, car! <laughs> oh, okay, I can go to the back. Blood! Give me blood! The final blow! Yas! Excellent work! Thank you, I agree. You wanna do the honors? Am I going to get electrocuted? Should be fine. The car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but... Do you want to do it or not? I do. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to get electrocuted, I swear. Okay, should just grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Got to get rid of these leaves first. Oh, low. Move! I don't know which wire. Okay, usually it's the one on the right, right? Grabby! God's sake. This should not be difficult. Ow! Yeah! Wow! Damn it, Greg! You said I wouldn't get electrocuted. Oh, Christ, I died. Cargo! Hey, Shackle. What are you doing here? Oh, God, is this the bright light? <laughs> You've always been a good friend, May. Every day you'd visit me, you'd remember to click me. Just to say hello. Oh, I did, and I would. Yes, I am an excellent friend. Shockle, am I dead? Yes. 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it, Greg. No, you're not dead. Oh, that's good. I have things to do. <laughs> you must go back. You were meant for great things. Really? Yes. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> yes, great things, great things. Wow. Yes. Can you be any more specific? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, you're confusing. I think I saw the real god just then. <laughs> Oh, that was Greg talking. Oh shit. You okay? I think I died. How long was I out? Like five seconds? Oh, weird. Time like stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. <laughs> oh, May. May taste blood. No. And anyway, even if it was a fascist... Oh my god, there's the thing. There's the thing. I didn't go with Greg to get that, so he got it anyway. It's got an anarchy symbol on it now. Which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it. So whoever was wearing it is dead. And I'm like wearing the trophy. So you admit that's a fascist helmet? No! I don't! Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so... Wait, question. Shoot! What the hell is that? Yeah, because we didn't go with him to get it. The thing? Yeah, obviously the thing. Remember those big cartoon characters? They used to have the food donkey? I do. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Is that one of them? Are we gonna put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing. Oh my god, Angus is gonna come home and be like, what the fuck? Where the hell did you get it? You know Steve Scriggins? Scriggins? The guy who drove little circles around people in the school parking lot, the guy who locked that substitute teacher in the supply closet. Ha <laughs> yeah. Dude, he was stuck in there over the long night, longest night break, survived by eating glue and Spanish workbooks. Steve Scriggins gave you this? Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. But he's been hanging out at the food donkey since it's been shut down. And he dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 what do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Well, sounds straightforward enough. Kinda, it's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on, on it and get a disease. It's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes and they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh no, dude, that's a phobia. It's it's too bad, it's too bad, uh, 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 that when you were carrying the mascot up, it didn't fall and squash you. That's one that, that's one that makes sense at least. Oh, man, it's a phobia of getting squashed in an elevator. What are we doing again? <laughs> Oof, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? Why don't you eat your own neck? <laughs> oh, fucking what? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. <laughs> oh, no. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I saw a shark, I think. And it told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. Couldn't have been that important then. True. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it!
Am I gonna get electrocuted again? Jeez, that looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. Some people have been dead for like forever. Do you see them whining? No, they're dead. <laughs> um, right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. <laughs> Greg, <laughs> that's, that's not how logic works. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, crappy diem, crappy diem. Copy DM sounds like a fish. <laughs> a fish that tells you to live your damn life. That's literally what the shark just told us. Okay, fine. What are we doing? Now's the best part. We're gonna put this beast together. And Angus is gonna come home and be like, Guys, what the fuck? Do you know how it goes together? Gonna find out. Cool. May. Sorry. Cool. Awoo! Angus is gonna kill us. Awoo! Angus is literally gonna kill us, and this is what I was trying to avoid. Ooh! Here are all the parts! Wow, so many possible connections. We can create our own unique metal offspring! So we just clank these together? Yeah, slap them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? Everything. Everything could go wrong. I mean, quite a lot. Lots of times stuff goes wrong. Dude, you're no fun. I literally just died. Okay. So, I guess... Um? Oh, we have to do the head first. Okay. Oh, click out. Okay, okay. There's the head. There's an army. I'm gonna give it really long arms. <laughs> There's another army. There's another army. <laughs> And then, I think we need these things for the legs. No, give me back the leg. I mean, they say you can make it yourself, but like... <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed what his legs look like. Oh my god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> Do I have to add them to the legs? Okay, no. Okay, so that's one arm. And then, <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> and then foot. <laughs> no, I don't want to give him a knife. There we go. And there we go. Uh. Oops. No, no. Head needs to go there. I think we're done. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Angus is gonna kill us. He's beautiful. He's perfect. A beautiful boy. A robot son. So, like, this is pretty great and all. But remind me, why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room? 
and connect it all to a stolen car battery. That's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think. I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Huh? Like these days, I mostly work all the time, but... What are you work? Why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Since when? A year or so now. That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Isn't Bright Harbor like really expensive? Not if you live in a terrible neighborhood. Oh, May, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars and everyone's cool and like free. Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. You have a tattoo? Say what now? Yeah. <laughs> you got a sheep tattoo from the story. Oh, okay. Is that a sheep? Yep. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was like all the way hot and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, like I was saying, now that you're back in Boston Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Aw, oh, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. But Angus is going to kill you. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, I want it to be known. I did not help you steal this. I just got the battery. Okay, so... Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Ooh! I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I could do. For my best friend, back from the dead. Pizza party next time I die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. <laughs> oh no. Am I gonna push the button? I wanna push the button. Oh god. This side smells even worse. I hope whatever was living here in this hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it, push it! Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it, push it! Okay, okay! Move! May, push the button. May! Push the push, push. God fucking God. Why do I always get electrocuted? God damn it. Oh fucking Jesus. So machine's freaking out, Greg's freaking out, and I'm just here dying on the floor. It lives! And I'm dying! What the? Oh, fucking Angus comes in to me dying on the floor, and I was too freaking out. I. Whoa! Hey, Angus. How's it going, May? Good. I didn't die this time. You. Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while if that's okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no! Angus, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I freaking died tonight. Greg rules. Bandit cleans Bruce past a kid. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Honey, I'm home. Ha! <sighs>
God damn it. Hey, Dad. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. Is it? I thought if you worked in a butcher, you had to, like, haul big wads of meat around. I could never work in a butcher. <laughs> I could never work in a butcher. I would if I had to, but, like, I don't... I'm the type of person that is vegetarian only for chicken. Like, I don't... I'm not an insane fan of red meat. <laughs> but, eh. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Ajax, the sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. I feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. <laughs> oh, this is too real. Huh, you kids with your slang. Slang you can pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made by both you and mom. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Mm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Always, Daddy-o. I will never call him Daddy-o again. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. Aw, yeah. Garo and Malloy. Ah, uh, yes. You know, we like to get political here. Gotta do it, gotta. You hear about this new law on the books? Pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to ten years in prison. Oh, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. <laughs> what? He has, folks. I wonder if pirating a movie about first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than once a grand lawsuit. What? What? Hey, Malloy, you know what I think about the law? What, Garbo? That's a whoppa! <laughs> this show is confusing. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. Ah, those voices were muddled. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, criminy. Okay. Good night, Faja. Wow. Up we go. I might end this episode here, maybe. Because I think we've been going for about an hour. I want to try and record two episodes today. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how much I can record. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, May, you awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing. Watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No. The reenactments are terrible. But if they were good, I actually feel like... <laughs> I'd actually, like, feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just a bad local commercial actor's pretending to murder or be murdered. I can read. I love those shows. They're the best. <laughs> hey, punk. Are you still electric? No, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, I touched my futon frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Zangus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. I have a feeling he doesn't like the robot. Okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. All right, Duder, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. I have a feeling Angus doesn't actually like it. Hey, May, are you all right? I was afraid you were really hurt. Oh. Oh, I'm okay, BB. I'm okay. And you left so quickly. Yeah, out of shame. I'm good, big guy. 
Okay, just wanted to make sure. I appreciate it. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. I make no promises. <laughs> no promises. Oh, that's sweet. And, as always... <laughs> Hi! Alrighty then. <clears throat> Holy mackerel. Blah. Good boy. Whee! So no band rehearsal today. Interesting. Um, okay, I'm going to leave this episode here because we've been recording for like an hour and I have things to do. Uh, <laughs> I'll try and record another episode later tonight and if that doesn't happen, sorry. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Night in the Woods. I feel like we didn't really do that much this episode, but it's okay. We get to hang out with Greg and possibly get murdered, but it's okay. It's fine. We just got electrocuted a bit and we didn't die. So that's a good start. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are having a good day, night, month, year, whatever time it is in the world. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.